Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley Yens. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. That's me, that's me. Then you got Dr. Cord in the house. That's me, that's me. What you gonna do about it? You're not gonna do nothing, boy, but stand still, boy. You're not gonna move, boy. You move, boy. Last time, every time you move, you lose. When you not the man. I'm telling you, boy, I'm not the one, boy. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, boy, y'all. Today, 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 we're doing a food mark. Food Mart Daily Mookbang. Oh, this is from the corner store, round the corner, down ah. the street, round the corner, over the bridge, over the bend, y'all. That's what it what is. What you gonna do about it? Gonna this is what we got right it. here, y'all. It's some like, um, I think Tex Mex Mexican food, Hispanic food, y'all. It's so good, Mexican food. So my baby's gonna pray over the food and the drink, and we're gonna get to chowing down. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this precious day, God that you allowed us to rose up to God, to your occasion, and line up with your will, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus, as we ask you to bless this food and drinks, God, and so that it can us our body in such a way, God, it will leave us healthy afterwards, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen. Yeah, we got some Spanish, some Spanish rice. Well, if I eat your arm. Get y'all some Lee Shelly hands. How about that extra? And then you got the pinto beans. Come on, I'm trying to show them. Goodness. I'm trying to eat. Get y'all some. What's the problem? And then that's his plate. He got some boiled eggs in here, y'all. I got whatever this I want. This came from Fiesta. Fiesta Mart. Got some sweet peppers. This is like a rotisserie chicken. Some more Spanish rice. I don't have, mine didn't come with, this one didn't come with beans. His has beans, jalapeno peppers, and I'm gonna get some of them beans over there. Mm. Yeah, I found some of this stuff. This scotch bonnet. First of all, I had this. Let me get a bite first, y'all. Some home. That's your girl. Ooh, where my child? Where my fault at? Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. You need? Yeah. No. I need my list. My list up. Where's my Tabasco? I mean, my jalo, jalo, jalapeno, jalapeno. You know what it is. They say I always start off with your, uh, your, uh, let's go, your protein first, y'all. I want to try this one, y'all. Let me get y'all some. Start out with whatever I want to start protein. out with. Yeah, this is Walker Sword Seriously Hot Jamaican Junk Canoe Pepper Sauce. Here y'all some. First bite. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Let me taste it, y'all. Mmm. <coughs> Oh, them peppers, huh? <coughs> That's good. That was a roasted jalapeno pepper. Ooh, them things hot. That's to me. Mm-hmm. When did you become to love and be a, a, a hot and spicy lover? Mm-hmm. I've always had hot stuff now. No, not like that, Liz. You can eat so much hot food. Why is that? like hot stuff. It might not, may not have been to this capacity. Mm -hmm. Y'all, because he can't, because he can't handle the heat. Oh yeah, this one is good here. This is another one. This says St. Jamaica Island Heat. This is savory, y'all. This tastes so good. I found this at Fiesta Mart too. And you go find the, hot, the hottest thing in um, they, this, Fiesta. This is really good. I like I bought a whole bunch of them, y'all. They good. Mmm, like, y'all really good seasoning. Mmm. That's a savory. And I've been having some two times spicy with it. Mm. Use some of these beans. Put some in there. That's good. There you go. Protein. And yeah, that's protein. That's protein. Beans are protein. Do you understand? So it's just meat, the chicken. Yeah. How y'all been doing today? 
And what y'all eating on in this blessed y'all call here in Houston? Yeah, I love it. Well, I love the cold boy. Make me feel some type of way. This shit been winning for your girl. It made me feel joy. Mm -hmm. Holidays are coming. Not for me. But they got the crazy beef out there. Mm-hmm. Trying to rob my pocket. Mm. Oh, that's bad. When you come to rob and you get robbed. When you come to rob and get robbed. So who, mm -hmm. who come to rob and get and got robbed? When the people come try to rob me, they gonna get robbed. Boop! They're like that. Mm. I'm like, all right, all right. Boop! Boy, it's a whole whip, babe. I got you, babe. What you got in your pocket? Oh, what you got in your pocket? Now I'm doing this. This song. Um, Lime, Italian, sparkling mineral water. I don't know how to. I drink it. He probably drink it. Wait, I mix his with. Uh, I do what I do. You're not getting them a drink. You well, you probably won't drink it if it was just this by itself. Like my, I drink mine though. But I mix yours with the um, orange sparkling water. The nesty. Well, orange you did water. the right thing. <laughs> mm. My thing with you. Cause he not adventurous like me, y'all. This is um. Walker, Walker Sword Hot Jamaican Scotch Bonnet. And this is the same one. That's the same Jamaica. This ain't very hot, but it's not very hot. I, I had that. This already gone. I had to buy another a brand, a brand new bottle. And that's almost gone. I haven't even opened it. That's, what you mean it's almost gone? This ain't even been open, baby. I know. The minute you open, well, it's going to be gone. Down? You said it's almost gone now. The minute you open it, it's going to be almost gone because you put a lot of stuff on your foot. Yeah, but I got I got a whole bunch of I got like four of them, y'all. Four what? Different kinds, though. Yeah, different kinds. I should got, I like them all. But you don't almost crying because Walmart didn't have that one. Yeah, Walmart sure didn't. But I got some more now. And now I don't know where to, where, where to go get it from. Not Walmart. No, they did not have what your girl was looking for. Like on my plate, you gonna miss your plate. You put eggs in every time. Uh -huh. You put rice in every time. So do. Rice, the sausage, and hot sauce. That stuff tastes funny. Is it mixed with this? That's why. We got some napkin over here. I don't need to eat next week. I gave you some. Ooh, my good meat. But y'all, we want to talk about, I want to talk about so many things. But I want to talk about how do y'all feel about, you know, if you have like a big family, and this is more for my husband, he can attest to this. Well, my family is small. My mom just has two children, me and my brother, Harold. Y'all should know his name. So I say his name several times in the mini videos. Harold, Harold Jr. is my daddy. His name is Harold Cecil Thomas Jr. Uh, I, I, uh, my maiden name, oh boy, my maiden name is Thomas. I'm trying to do my thing, man. Sure. And it's just us two, okay? But it's like nine of them. Now it's eight because my sister passed away. My sister in law, Cynthia. Ain't no baby do nothing about it. Y'all know she's my favorite sister in law. Her, my birthday was the same day as hers, May 27th. So, anyway. So it's a, lot, it's a lot of them. So my thing is, when, you, when you're in a big family, a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters, or our brothers, our sisters, do you guys have any favorites? Or is there such a thing as favorites? When you have a big family, even when you're a parent and you have a lot of kids, is there such a thing as having favorites? My favorite son, my favorite daughter, my favorite child, or my favorite sister, my favorite brother. Is there such a thing? Is what I want to know. 
and I, I me coming from a small family, and I'm on the outside of Galen, but I have I have step brothers, I have half brothers, my brother Marlon, my brother Dwayne. We have the same dad, but different mothers. And my brother Marlon, he from New Orleans. He lives in New, he lives in New Orleans, is where I'm born, where I'm from. He calls my mom mom, even though that she's not his biological mother. But we, we all four. I'm the oldest. I'm the only girl. I'm the oldest. Then my brother Marlon. Then my brother, my biological, my same mama, same brother. Um, same mama, same br daddy, Harold. He's third. Oh, boy. And, then, and then there is my um, my brother. We had, Marlon and Dwayne had the same mama. And me and Harold got the same mama. We all four had the same daddy. His name is Dwayne. He's the, the fourth one, right? I'm the oldest and the old, only girl. So, even though it's four of us with the same dad that we know of, y'all, maybe more, we don't know. But Marlon was my favorite brother. Or, I don't know if favorite is the right word, but I'm just I'm gonna go with it, favorite, because I used to get along with him better. I was closer to him. He's closer to age than my brother Harold is. And. My brother Harold is four years younger than me, and I think Marlon is two years younger. And Dwayne, I don't know Dwayne, five years or six years younger. But I love all my brothers, right? Because at one point when I was growing up, y'all, I was closer to my brother Marlon. Now, I can kind of say I'm closer to my brother Harold. And we get the same mama. But my thing is, so I can kind of relate to that when people, when I see big, like my husband's size family, say they, they closer to this person. Stop. This is like crooked, y'all. Be on your stop moving in. Yeah. So y do y'all believe in that? Or is that such a thing? Even for the parents that, um, this is my, I have two kids myself. A boy and a girl. And I'm close to both of them. Now, I might be closer to my daughter, Treasure. Y'all know her. My girl, living life with these. Shout out to you, Treasure B. Uh, I might be closer to her right now, but I'm also, you know, good with my son, too. I mean, I love both of them, obviously. Some parents don't love their kids. Why? Wow. Yeah. Some, some parents don't, y'all. Y'all, mental, mental illness is real, okay? Well, so what you point, that for? It ain't the point of them not loving them. It just something happened along the way. They just don't mess with each other. But a mother gonna always love their child, no matter what. No, mm -hmm. gonna, oh, but when she have the child and the sisters and brothers, they gonna always love each other. But they probably just don't mess with each other. Yeah, explain that to me. Let, let, let explain that to Lily Shillin and to me, because I don't understand that really. You know, I know people siblings fall out. I know they have this disagreements. They be mad. I understand that. I mean, they come with it. That's just any, with anybody. But it still don't interfere with the love. Mm. It's just that. You so? It's just that we don't see eye to eye on things. So, you know, hey, you do you, I'm going to do me. You stay on your side of the street, I'm going to stay on my side of the street. But you're still my brother. Mm -hmm. Now, if I see somebody doing something to you, I'm coming, boy, I'm going to come rescue you. Oh, Other than that, I'm going to stay my distance. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't see eye to eye on mm, okay. Do y'all agree with that, Lee Shillings? What, how y'all feel? Y'all let me know in the comments. What y'all think about that? You know, I'm not gonna let nobody hurt you. You know, man. Because this is how I know that you still love them. You ain't gonna never mm. love them. Y'all just don't communicate or see how that own thing. But the minute one die, go in the church room, I mean the church hall, and see how that person overreacts. And that'll tell you all you need to know. Yeah, but what about why they living though? That's, but if well, they gone, it's too late. Most, most everybody cut up at the funeral. Yeah. Well, but how, what, what, what you do, what matters is what you do while they're here. Some people don't understand it. Too late. Right. 
So that still go back to what I'm saying. Max and Hugo, you could have big family. Is there such a thing as having well, favorites? Me and my family love each other. Mm -mm. All nine of love though. each other. Okay, you, you can have your favorites. So there, there is such a thing as having favorites. Yeah. People, I, I mean, it's like everybody ain't going to get along. Mm -hmm. And everybody ain't going to see the eye to eye on things. Mm -hmm. Then if things probably doesn't happen in, in the past, it makes you say, man, I, I don't mess with the Joker, but I love him. If you need me, I'll be like your brother. But other than that, you know, which is your brother, your biological brother, right? Yeah, I'm not going to never stop loving my brother and mother and my sister now. I'm not going to never stop loving them. You know, just because I don't dial your phone or pop up at your house and see you, you know, don't mean I don't love you. Don't mean I won't stand in the storm with you and fight to put an end. But... <clears throat> You know, it did some things that, you know, that mm -hmm. God have to catch up, you know. Right. But oh, okay. other than that, I see you, I'm going to hug you, tell you I love you and all that. But you have people in your family, whether it's a brother or sister, that, that you know, you communicate with mm -hmm. and on a daily basis mm -hmm. that you can relate to that wait your phone vibrating why you put it on silent silence on silent there you go why didn't you i want to hear the tea you want to hear the tea yeah what tea silent yeah, but why didn't you put your phone on silent? Don't worry about all that. And and don't be trying to check me behind my phone. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have a problem. Yeah, we're in a video. Okay. Act like you're in a Okay, but video. you should have your phone Stop. on silent. It is on silent. No, it's not on silent. It's on vibrate. Uh, whatever okay, it is, well, that's not well, silent. Well, 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 what the woman did. Hmm. Y'all, he finna get a, a knuckle sandwich in just one second. There ain't nobody but his brother calling. That's, that's, that's who was on the phone with a minute ago. The one we talking about now, he talks to every day. So what? That's what I do. What's you got a problem with? What you talking about? So, so that's normal, y'all. They have a, I guess it is normal, huh? Families to have favorites. So you got a favorite then? I, I don't like, know who, my sister said, do you have one? Look here. That's just like on a job. People are people. Regardless, right. we are all been created by the hand of God, and they're just like in a workplace. When you start working somewhere, and you get to knowing the people, you're not gonna be cool with everybody. But it's gonna be one or two people you're gonna be good with. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna communicate. They gonna cook for you. You gonna cook for them. They gonna watch your back, and you watch their. And that's. That's in everything. Mm -hmm. Every relationship you meet, you have, ain't gonna always be peaches and cream. Every man right. you meet or every woman you meet don't mean that that woman is for you. Mm -hmm. And it'll take a short time or a middle time to realize that when it's no longer a relationship and how it is. Some, some people you meet, they prolong their feelings mm -hmm. into the heat of the moment. Then they tear you and break your heart and destroy your world. Well, mm -hmm. I've been wanting to leave. I've been wanting to leave you. You know, you're no good. Dumb, dumb, dumb. You know, you, 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 boy, look, look here. If I could have packed my stuff up five months ago, boy, I would have been gone. Walter, man, you're not attracted. I don't really want to. I didn't want to be with you, but baby, it was about the money. You know, mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know, and you mm -hmm. like, yeah, if you don't get out of my car in a couple of seconds, bro, I'm going to put the building on you. You know? Yeah, because you hurt how people just jump up and really express their feelings 
all this time, this being in you, and you just now heading it out. But yeah. anyway, in who, in out. You know, that's life. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't get along. Whether your brother, sister, niece, and not, it don't. I don't. I love all my nieces and nephews, but it's the certain ones I talk to on a daily basis. Hmm. You know, because everybody ain't the same. Everybody don't don't think the same. You know, it can be an attitude adjusting my person. It, it can be how a person thinks. You know, how they act. You know. That makes you say, nah, that's my nephew, I love him, man, but, you know, he out of my league, he grown now, you know, he's in God's hand, I, you know, and when they get to a certain age, you can't tell them nothing no more, hmm. but it's some that you still can relate to, some you still can, you know, communicate with in such a way that, you know, they hear you, all right, old man, you right, you know. It's respect, mm -hmm. you know, and <clears throat> it's like, for me, a man who have them changed his life and gave it to God, you know, I can't unequally yoke myself with people with a bad mouth, you know, smoking weed and doing this and doing that, you know. I don't hold it against them, but I just, I ain't got to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So I stay my distance. That's what I do. And I handle my alone hand spoon. Hey, mm -hmm. I, how you doing? You good? What's up? All right. Okay, cool. Boom. Yeah. I'm done with that conversation. But I deal with people like me mm -hmm. who understand me. Same mindset as you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. on the same subject of the life <clears throat> about me. Right. And that's Jesus Christ. And, you know, something positive. Not on the phone, every word they say, yep, you, forget you. Boy, I can't stand to be around people with mobs like that, man. Bad mm -hmm. mob, man. Every word is a custom word. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's a, that's a handicap problem they got, boy. You need yeah. to pull up. Yep, and then we have family, family members like that, too. Brothers yeah. and sisters like that, too, you know. But we still love them, you know. And yeah. if family gathers, we got to be around them. And some, every now and then, every now and then, Outside of those gatherings, we still have to be around them for the most part. But I just wanted to just throw that out there. That a good little subject, something I just thought about. You know that you know when you have a big family or medium size or just regular, just small size, uh, three or more. Do you have any favorites? And is there such a thing as having favorites? And you know, I guess like he said, my baby said, you can't have favorites. You no, know, and not as well, not more so favorites. I don't know if that's the right word to use. You might be closer to certain ones you love them all like he said for the most part hopefully but i i know for a fact i've seen shows and different programs documentaries well parents don't love their kids and, and vice versa because they you know they kill their children their children kill the parents so or whatever i know there's something going on up there in their psyche i know that but who's to say that they ever loved them you know so it just depends on a person's mindset well, who's to say that love have anything to do with it that just like what? that just like if you love me. You in love with me. Uh -huh. That don't never leave. And when you in love with your child or anything like that, but I do something. I sleep around and I come home. You so furious mm -hmm. because of the love you have for me in you. Uh -huh. It rouse up and it, and it comes to a certain degree that 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 makes you and enhance <clears throat> your thought of killing me. And I come in and. Just because of what I done. You killing me for what I done to you. You not killing me because you not in love with me. You killing me because you in love with me. And because you in love with me and you want me for yourself. Uh -huh. But then you going to kill me for the act I done. Yeah. Well, I'm, I won't never be in love. I don't know if in love is the right word for me to use for your children and your parents. I'm not in love with my son and my daughter. I'm not in love with my mother. I'm only in love with this person. To me, it's different. You know, I to me, I love uh, my mother. Of course, I, I do. I mean, I do, and I love my children and my grandchildren. But I, okay. but I am in love with him. To me, that's a difference. It might not be, but in my mind, it, it is. It is, and it might not be. I, I don't know. Hey, I'm not no psychiatrist. I don't know. But in my mind, that's what I feel like. But my thing is, you know, I just want to post it out there to y'all to see if there's a difference. 
of, of having favorites. And I, like I said earlier, I may not have used that word favorite, but you know, maybe you're closer in that. Well, I know that to be true. That's all. You're closer to some fam some of your, uh, like he said, nieces and nephews and your brothers and sisters. You know, maybe closer to your daddy than your mama, maybe closer to your mama than your daddy, you know, whatever. Or you may be closer to your son and your daughter, your daughter than your son, whatever. Even your grandkids, you may be closer to this grandkid and vice versa, you know. So, like, if you're, you're I'm a grandchild too, I might have a, uh, not favorite, but I might be closer to this grandmother poses this grandmother, you know, or this grandfather poses this grand, uh, rather than that grandfather. So, mm -hmm. it's all the same, you know. I just thought I'd throw that out there. You know, it's that like family topic. So, just get some, some, thoughts going on in your mind, you know. So, we should love everybody, really. Even the Bible says we love our enemies, you know. But, you know, it's okay to, uh, now he, he want to tap my leg, tell me to get through. But it's okay to, <laughs> it's okay to, you know, just love everybody. And it's okay, I guess it's okay to have, you know, certain ones you're closer to. You know, that's just it, you know, you do sometimes. You know, you might, your age might be around the same age range and you might be way, it just depends, y'all. You know, your personality and stuff like that. But it's all good in the neighborhood, y'all. So, y'all, this will conclude. And y'all, y'all know I'm Lee Shelly with the little belly number two. When I sing it or say it, you know that's your girl. It's already full. Yeah, I'm full. I put some hot sauce on this little piece of wing. I can't. But y'all know what? Like my baby said before, in 30 minutes, she's going to be eating again. Probably today I will. Today I probably will in 30 minutes or so. Because I was super hungry when I came on the, on the scene, on the set. And I got real full. But uh, when, my, when my baby goes to work, I'll be here by myself with me and just the Lord. My son just left too. I'm probably tear this stuff up. Just tear it up, honey. What you gonna do to it? Take yours to work? I'm showing them my hat. Boy, y'all like my hat? Wow. Look, yeah, boy, I'm Hopefully by the time they see this video, they'll be back on, on the grind. Cause they've been fucked <laughs> up lately, Zach. <laughs> they've been- Why don't you worry about my cowboys, boy? You better watch yourself. They've been going to Flunkersville lately. I said you better lately. watch yourself worrying about my cowboys, boy. You better leave them alone, boy. I'ma put on my boots and that. I like them too, but they've been going to- put the dip in my mouth, boy. I'ma spit everywhere. Yeah, he been mouth. so mad. He been saying some choice words. I said, what? Not really too bad, but like, what? This mad. I said, wait a minute. But anyway, y'all, it's all good in the neighborhood. So y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share on every social media platform. And subscribe. Please share it though. I need y'all to share this everywhere. TikTok, Rock Your Box, whatever. Facebook, uh, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, what YouTube, your, your community post. Y'all just share it for your girl, your boy. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. <laughs> Yeah, so you can be reminded every time we upload a video, every time. You'll be the first one to get the notification, y'all. You can be part of the notification squad, okay? So, y'all, be quick with it. La, 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 la. I know that wasn't the right outro. No. All right, y'all. See no. y'all later. We no. love y'all. Yeah. Care for that. Do your thing, do your thing. Hey. Do your thing, do your thing. Hey, hey. Do your thing, do your thing. Hey. Do your thing, do your thing. Do your thing, do your thing. Bye, y'all. Do your thing, do your thing. See y'all later. Do your thing, do your thing. And that was Kate and L News who was talking about Carl and Lisa mm -hmm. News. Mm -hmm. We'll be back tomorrow, y'all, probably, mm -hmm. with another video mm -hmm. and another topic mm -hmm. of discussion mm -hmm. on K N mm -hmm. L. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. News. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Now nah, we're gonna call it KNL News. Mm -hmm. We'll call it KNL mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Table Talk. Mm -hmm. Got y'all. Mm -hmm. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm. Come on here, let's all go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, you know he wanna have his own little segment. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be called what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carl Gina segment. Mm, mm, mm. Carl Gina. Mm, mm, mm. Carl Gina. Mm, mm, mm.